Hey, how you doing? You guys have been asking me about this baby for quite some time since it started showing its face in my videos. The Hughes and Kettner Grandmeister Deluxe. The reason I haven't gotten to it until now is because, well, I kind of wanted to know what I was talking about before I told you all about it and form my own opinion. My opinion is this. This might be the most valuable amp I've ever owned and ever will own. And I mean that not necessarily from a monetary perspective, it's actually insanely affordable for all the features that it offers. But what I mean is the workflow as a musician who records all the time in my own studio, this thing has changed the way I operate. Now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about why this amp is so valuable to me, but I'm also going to demonstrate its uses not by simply going through a bunch of different tones, how I've seen other great reviews of this amp happen. I'm actually going to show you a song that I recorded. Everything was recorded with this amp and you'll be able to hear the tonal differences that I was able to dial in. The first thing to understand about the Grandmeister is that it's an analog tube amp, but all the switching and controlling functions, like these switches here, all control different functions based on what the operation mode of the amp is set to. So if I choose effects access, I now have switched these from reverb, treble, mid, bass, volume, etc., to delay level, feedback, delay time, mod type between a flanger, phaser, chorus, etc., and the intensity of that mod. Once I dial in what I want, I'm back to my normal treble, mid, bass, normal amp settings. Let me show you what that means. We have a clean sound, a little bit of delay. I can turn that delay off if I want to. Now it's gone. I can bring it all the way back. Gone. When I have what I want, maybe I want some uh, chorus happening with a little bit of delay, and I can store that preset. That feature is also even easier to control using this FSM 432. That's what they call the foot switch that you can get for this amp. It has up to 128 memory slots arranged in 32 different banks with four presets each. You can also switch this to stomp box mode and just access the normal four channels of the amp. Those channels include clean, crunch, Lead. And uh, Ultra. Uh, yes, quite mystifying. If you have an iPad, you can download an app and actually control all the functions on your mobile device. There's some great videos here on YouTube from Henning Pauly and Rabia Masad uh, that go really in depth into the preset stuff. So I would like to direct you to those videos if you wanna learn about the exact process to set these things up. I want to show you how I use this amp and what it means to me offer you some sort of different perspective because really this is why I love this amp. I record all the time, as I mentioned. Let me tell you why this has changed my operations. This is a Redbox AE and this is the tool in the recording industry for capturing the sound of guitar amps without actually using a microphone. Now as a YouTube guitar player, I have to create videos as you guys know and I have to record a lot of guitar and that can be really time consuming, especially if you mess up the recording of the guitar that can be really frustrating and that's why I opt to use plugins a lot of the time. The only downside of plugins, if you want to call it a downside, is you don't feel the air move and that means basically you don't have an amp pushing the air out at you. 
Uh, there's just something to be said for having the feel of an amp when you are performing to make it more authentic as an artist. So this accomplishes the same thing as plugins do, meaning I can use that red box to essentially mic up my amp perfectly. The exact tone that I'm hearing in the room is being directly input into my computer. So I literally have my amp running straight into my interface, an Apollo Twin. And at the same time, I am getting that real experience as a guitar player of hearing myself through an amp and being able to adapt and manipulate the notes the way a real guitar player would in a real analog world with a real amp. So like I said, I could mic up this cab if I wanted to, but there's really no need. The technology is already in the Grandmeister to do that part for me. And that is just, I can't explain to you how much time it saved me and how much more pleasant it has been to create music using this amp. So when I wanna use some pedals, like I'm gonna do a little bit later, as you can see here, we have the effects loop, and this is going to be where you wanna put all your pedals for the optimal sound. Now, yet another awesome part of this amp is called Power Soak, and this is essentially turning this amp into like a load box. It gives you the benefits of like a full-blown power amp saturation, but you can still have a nice bedroom volume if you want it. This can also be really helpful for practicing. So with all this said, I want to show you a song that I've been working on and it was really inspired by the sounds that I got out of the Grandmeister and I keep petting it like it's an animal. Uh, it was inspired by this amp and it's really the ultimate spectrum of tones that I've really found to be my favorites that I've been able to dial in with the amp so I hope you enjoy and I hope this was a helpful kind of glimpse into what this amp has to offer again check out the other reviews uh, on YouTube to get a full gambit uh, but I am going to be using this amp constantly and please leave questions in the comment section below and we can all sort of make this video the uh, community for the Hughes and Kettner Grandmeister Deluxe uh, if anybody has questions, maybe they can be answered here. But I highly recommend this amp if you have any aspirations to record music or if you just want an amp that sounds awesome. I don't think I, uh, I emphasize that enough throughout this video. This thing sounds amazing. And maybe the most important thing about this amp, it's really cool looking. You guys know how much I like cool looking stuff. So, uh... Seems like a natural fit here in the old Music is Wind studio. All right, let's hear this thing in action with a song that I wrote called Falling Down.
outro. What'd you guys think? Sounds pretty good, right? As I said, she's a workhorse. The H and K Hughes and Kettner Grandmeister Deluxe. Check it out if you're on the market for a new amp. If you'd like to hear the rest of that song in its entirety and download it, by the way, it is called Falling Down. You can go to iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon Music, wherever you get your music. Type music is win and it should pop up. Thanks a lot for watching this video. And until next time, keep shredding. Mm -hmm.